Well, day four. And what a beautiful lake it is when there's when it's not windy. Yes, they were not very excited of prospect of spending time, spending night out here. But it turned out to be a very nice wind quit. Once uh, the sun went down, mosquitoes were tolerable. Actually, it wasn't bad at all. And uh, the morning was just, and still is, just glorious. We already ate the breakfast. We have showered. Right now, filtering water. Once we get to the desert, uh, we might be for a couple of days without access to a lake or a river. So we're getting ready for some water. And then uh, once that's done, we'll just pack up and go and try to find a way to cross to Farson over the, the high desert. Everybody's in good spirits. Mitch, are you in good spirits? Thank you. Why? Is that Why because of the shower? Just generally having a good time. Let me tell you, that shower it really refreshed me. It was very, very timely. And so that's starting of day four. Like I said, beautiful, beautiful surroundings. And when it's nice and still like this, it just, we could probably stay here for a couple of days going for a little swim.
infrastructure it has to be. Old abandoned house. Oh. The dead crow. Somebody killed it. Crow the blood. Yeah, but what about its BY? Is that yellow? Yeah, it had a tracker on it, it looks like. Yeah. There's another dead crow in here. Seriously? Same trackers on uh, another one. Okay, yeah. Must have been uh, some kind of voodoo making sacrifice here. Well, that's freaking disturbing. An old fridge and a nest. with us? No? How come? I'm waiting for him to fall. Oh. Yeah, Mitch is... Actually, those shoes shouldn't be too bad for because uh, it's actually pretty hard. Clay. Well, I think... Maybe over there is a little bit better because wind from here is blocked and wind from over there block is blocked too. What do you think, Mitch? Here is fine too? Well, it's not like out there in the open. There it's really blowing. But here it's reasonable, just a little breezy. I'm fine with it here. Huh? I'm fine here. Okay. Well, let's... Let's unload and uh, get something to eat and then just... Too bad um, West is to my back. Why? Because we won't be able to watch the sunset. But the sunrise will be gorgeous. Alright, so day four is winding down. We're sitting in a truck because out here in the desert the wind is even worse than it was yesterday at the lake. Uh, it's 8.30 at night and I just doesn't want to quit. 
besides out here the temperature is a little bit cooler too so it's it's not even comfortable to sit out there i mean it's it's not nothing horrendous but i felt it was more comfortable to sit here it was a very actually it was a very nice day uh, once we got off-road outside muddy gap um Let's see if I'll be able to get it on the map. Of course, my main navigation the software that I use or app has quit on me. Um, not so much the app itself, but <coughs> the SD card doesn't work anymore, so all the downloaded maps, I don't have the access. But uh, luckily, out here we actually have the um, cell reception, so we're able we're, we're able to use Google um, G Maps. But anyway, um, mighty gap. Well, it doesn't matter. Anybody who is interested can look look it up on the map. Um, but any uh, all the way from mighty gap, probably sixty, maybe even seventy miles west from there. We were just uh, enjoying the most beautiful scenery. It's very different, and uh, of course, beauty in the, is in the eye of the beholder. Um, but um, it, it has its own charm. Uh, just being able to see all the way to the horizon, seeing uh, coming we uh, right now we're facing east, but uh, coming west, we on the right we've seen our. Uh, Wind River Ranch, that's where we spent the last uh, over 10 years camping and recreating and uh, um, it's just plain beautiful. Not too much wildlife, we didn't see too much, uh, just a few antelopes here and there, um, wild horses and uh, nothing, nothing else but... Well, the only drawback I suppose is um, the wind out here that I think I've, I've complained about the wind enough uh, it, it's already very easy to to decipher that uh, wind is not my favorite thing in the world uh, but other than that it's truly truly beautiful place and um, we covered some miles we're well, spending night here will will actually um, Tomorrow during the sunrise, we'll film some more because it's a truly very unique area where we're camping. It's pretty much sage sagebrush and a high desert all around, and then there is this place. That's uh, it's it's almost like Mitch was uh, actually saying that kind of similar to the what, what is it uh, Red Rock in Australia? Is that called Red Rock? Remember that. The thing right there in the middle of Australian continent. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but anyway, very different this area. And we'll, we 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 took some footage today. Unfortunately, like I said, the wind interferes with a lot of it. But uh, we're hoping that wind will quit overnight. Generally, in the morning, it uh, it's nice and still. So. Maybe we'll take some more footage. Anything else that you guys remember of today? Oh, well, we visited some of the uh, abandoned cabin. Um, it look, it's just in the middle of nowhere. There's probably close to 100 miles in either direction. There is no um, uh, any, any kind of uh, town. Um, uh, or, or anything and um, it was just obviously it hasn't been lived in for many years but uh, there's a little creek going through it and apparently somebody decided to settle there and uh, at some point somebody lived there so um, outside of that there wasn't really besides just the beautiful uh, nature that God has made um, we we drove for hours and hours at the time 
uh, without uh, encountering any signs of um, any kind, anything man-made. And of course, probably, well, I don't know how many miles, there's, there's not a soul out here up besides us. <clears throat> we didn't encounter on the way uh, three bicyclists, some uh, brave souls on the mountain bike bikes. They were uh, trekking towards us. So judging how, how many miles we covered, um, they, have, they had a pretty long uh, way ahead of them and covered quite a bit, quite a few miles. And um, outside of that, there was just a couple of trucks the whole day, and that was that was it. Well, anyway, this is it for day four.